so I guess this thing is going. But anyway, here we are out in my backyard. This is my backyard. See, I cut all this grass down to the ground. I don't know if you can see it out there in the distance, but that's the other guy's property next door. And it, you know, the grass is three or four feet tall. But I cut all mine all the way down. It's mostly just dirt and a bunch of dead stuff laying there. But check this out, look. Look. I got trees. I got trees. I've got trees. Lots and lots of fucking trees. Excuse me. I not mean to be obscene. I didn't mean to let that out. Some of them are pretty big. Bunch of trees everywhere. It's a whole, like, jungle. This really isn't even the thick spots. This is just trees. This is what my yard looks like. This is an old Volvo that I got. I'm gonna make a hot rod out of that one day. That's my old ranch truck that I drove around until the clutch stopped working. Now it doesn't go at all. It says it's got $500 worth of tires on it. And there it sits, see? It's all covered in ash from the fires. There's a Cadillac motor. See all the trees? Look at them. Oh, tons and tons and tons. We go over here and look at this big giant one over here. Huh. Go look at this big giant tree. It's a big one. You see the oak tree right there behind that little one? Look at it. There it goes. Up. 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 Right over the top of me. Look at the size of that thing. Man. This is just one branch right there. Look at that. It comes down right behind that little tiny tree right there. That oak tree's probably three or four feet in diameter or whatever. It's a big fat one. We got lots of them. There's lots of these are regular oak oak trees. That's a big giant one. Sometimes I think they're called like hooker oaks or whatever when they get like that. Or maybe that's a brand of tree, I don't know. We got oak trees, we got manzanita. We got all that stuff. I was out I came out, I was gonna make a video of the two deer brothers. The Buck Brothers. And they're usually here in the morning, but there's nobody here right now. There's my old car. This is one I drive every day. I've been driving it every day for years and years and years. 30, 30 years? Something like that. It's mine. See? We painted this ourselves right here in the backyard. Put the wood on it, and fake wood, and all that stuff. It runs pretty good. It always has, same motor. It's been in it for 30 years. Must have millions and millions of miles on it. I ride it all, I drive that thing everywhere. There's a little Chinese scooter. Ain't worth mentioning. See that thing right there, that red scooter? Don't buy those. They're made in Japan, I mean China, and they cost you two grand and they run about a week and then you got to buy another one. There's my electric tricycle. You should build one of those. Those are nice. That thing runs and 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 doesn't cost a wooden nickel. That's my wife's electric tricycle I built for her. And it's the same story. They go and go and go and go. There's an actual old moped, Honda moped. I guess a PA50 or whatever it's called. That thing runs. We ride it around sometimes. It's got a flat right now. How about a wheelbarrow full of tools and sprockets and things like that, huh? 
Everybody needs a wheelbarrow full of miscellaneous thingamabobs in the front yard, huh? Yep, everybody's got to have one of those. Look at this. This is the front yard jungle. It's got, there's pumpkins and squash and tomatoes and bell peppers and that weird white bush growing out of the sewer pipe right there. Huh? Isn't that a strange thing? It's all white. It's, I planted it in a piece of a sewer pipe that I stuck into the ground. See, this is a jungle right here. See, look. I get to eat that tomorrow or the next day. It's still pink. I'm waiting for bright red. They taste so good. Man, tomatoes out of the garden. Yummy, yummy. They're only like 500 times better than the ones you get at the store. See all the pumpkin plants and the squash plants and the stuff like that. Look at them all. See those flowers? Those ones are fake. I bought them at the dollar store. They're cheap imitation flowers. But look, look at all that stuff. There's a palm tree struggling away. All sorts of stuff growing out here. I spin around, see this circle of stuff? I flattened this all out and I, was, I put a swimming pool here, a used one that my son gave me. And I put it up and I started filling it with water and it got up to like 3,000 gallons of water was in it and it just burst. It burst, the whole side of it burst and it went down the hill where that cat just went. Yep. So, since I put all this soil here, you know what all the soil is? It's pot growers, man. They use it for like a year, year and a half, two years, whatever, and then they just throw it away. So my son's been getting it for me by the pickup truck loads. It's really good stuff. Grows things like crazy. Those pot growers, they put all sorts of weird nutrients and stuff in the soil, so you gotta watch out who you get it from, right? You need like one of those guys that cares, that, that does organic or semi-organic gardening. You, sometimes these guys can use some terrible chemicals. But I've had pretty good, got mine from pretty good sources. <laughs> see, see all that stuff down there, that ground cover? That's some sort of wart. I don't remember what my wife said it is. Hog wart, money wart, some sort of wart. Anyway, you can walk on it. It's real soft. It kind of messes it up, but it's real hardy. It pops right back. But that's the little tiny front garden. You can see way over there, there's my ancient old school bus. It doesn't go. It's a big giant storage room. And the worn out tent. One of them. Those tents go about two years that you buy them. They say they're portable carports. But people use them for storage anyway. They rot right away. Uh-huh. Yep. So if you want to pay like $100 a year storage, you can buy one of those because in two years you're going to need another one. See, it's got a big tree above it too. See the scale? That thing there is probably... 10 feet tall to the ground to the top of the to the top of the tent see that'd be the 10 foot level right there there's another 10 20 30 40 50 and on it goes it's the way up to the sky there's a failed greenhouse i bought that because they made a law saying i couldn't grow weed outdoors so I bought this greenhouse I was going to grow in there, and then the inspector guy came out and said, Nope, you got to have a county inspected one. You can't have that. So I don't grow weed there anymore. In fact, I don't grow it at all. It seems like everybody's doing it, and I got bags and bags of it. People bring it by and drop it off. So not really necessary to grow it at all when you have all these hillbilly people growing weed and itching to give you samples of it. Yeah. Helps being a homeboy, too. You know, there's that white cat again. He went around and he came up. That's my house. See it? Yep. Me and my brother nailed that together like 30 years ago. 
See, it's not like we had a contractor. We built that with a hammer and nails and and stuff like that. We did it ourselves. We put the roof on, we put the wiring in, we put the sheetrock in, we put everything. Just me and my brother. So I've got a house. And guess what? This thing is paid for. So is the, all the acres I just showed you. All that land, that's all paid for. It's all mine. Mine, 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 mine. Like Daffy Duck. Mm -hmm. yeah, the one, there's a tent out back that I didn't put on the movie, but it's got a 65 Mustang in it with a 351 Windsor that rips down the road. I mean, it burns rubber pretty good. Uh -huh. And then there's my old Falcon that I drive every day. The Mustang belongs to my boy Ray. And the Red Scooter belongs to my son Spencer. Like that. And I got a daughter, Sarah, and I got a son, Matthew, and I got another one named Dodge, and he lives in Idaho. Yeah, I showed you just about everything. I'm going to stop taking a movie and go sit down. I wonder if you like, if that was like interesting or not. But anyway, that's what I am. That's where I am. Ta.